At a time when fuel prices are rising every week, Afghan drivers are seeking new ways to save money. In the city of Sherbagan, North Afghanistan, more than 100 drivers have converted their engines to be powered by a national commodity, compressed natural gas, or CNG. Petrol prices across the country have risen above a dollar per litre in the past year. Those with CNG engines have halved their fuel bills. Shebagan is the centre of the natural gas industry in Afghanistan. Surrounding this city lie fields with an estimated 77 billion cubic metres of reserves. This is the first and only CNG station in the country. It opened for business in May. Out of those drivers with CNG engines, 65% are filling up each day. A car conversion involves placing a cylinder in the trunk of the vehicle and connecting it through a pipe to new engine components under the hood. The whole process only takes a few hours. The CNG is the first time where Afghan people benefited from the resources that they have and first time they fueled their car with their own uh, energy supply. A local company called Afghan Gas currently operates this station. Until now, the conversion of the engines, costing $700 per car, has been funded by the U.S. The project was tested with local cab drivers, but now there are plans to expand in order to reach more commuters. One cylinder of gas will last up to 150 kilometers, which will get a car to the main northern city of Mazari Sharif, but drivers have to return on petrol. It's hoped soon more stations will open up in other locations once potential rewards are realized. When we're seeing people fill up four, five, six, seven times a week, and uh, when there are more cars that are being converted, there are going to be significant amounts of, amounts of revenue which are going to go into investors. And at this point, it's such a small market. This is a greenfield. There's tremendous opportunity for an investor to come in and gain a first mover advantage. There's only one station right now. Whoever builds that first station in Mazar is looking at amazing opportunity for profit just because there's no one else in this industry yet. Turkey and China have both landed contracts with the Afghan Ministry of Mines. Other foreign bids for oil and gas tenders are currently under review. Charles Jan's governor says such global interest will help bolster security. The next phase of this project is to have CNG power a local police station, significantly reducing the amount of diesel they use and money spent on fuel.